here we are. I have built out the compact coal modules that I was talking about. We built this first one and then it was earlier I demonstrated we duplicated it using a copy and paste methodology uh, and we've tested it. I've actually hooked up the coal from a pure node and the sulfur from a pure node and it's all working. It's all backed up this setup here, which I want to stress I've configured the miners to run at 270 and the conveyor belts come in at 270 because each one of these buildings of nine requires 130.5 coal and 130.5 sulfur so two of them is 261 and a 270 belt so that's a really nice balance and what we're going to do is i'm going to select all of this and save it as a blueprint so that someone that could come along and wanted some power and didn't want to worry about the hassles of setting it up, could grab this blueprint, paste it in, and bang, they have 2.7 gigawatts of power right off the bat. The reason I've sort of thought about doing that is tier three, four, when you unlock coal power, some people might go, I just don't want to build it. And they've done the game a couple of times. They've done a couple of playthroughs. They just want to have the power running and get on to doing other things. So this is going to be something for them. It's not an excessive amount. It's meeting the current needs in Tier 3, 4. Because Tier 3, 4 gives you Mark 3 conveyor belts and Mark 2 miners. And that's what we've got here. All I have to do is grab the lasso selection tool here. And just start dragging my mouse around the areas that I want to copy. I'm just avoiding some areas there. And I want all of this here. And I want this minor. Okay, so I want that whole bunch of stuff. Once I select it, I can go copy selected items and go submit. Then I can click the import export blueprint button. And I'm going to download the current blueprint. And that's downloaded it as a blueprint calculator CBP file. And I am going to rename that now so I know which one it is. And let's test it. And you say, how do you test it? Well, well, <laughs> here's something I prepared earlier. Okay, so I have a save file here of a fresh start. I've plonked in and the hub there's no hub everything is there so i don't have tier three four even unlocked however that's irrelevant i'm going to click the import export a blueprint and i'm going to drag in this file here and it says it imported the items from the blueprint i go okay now there's a paste icon that's appeared under the blueprint paste blueprint in the original position so I'm going to click that and bingo, there it all is. So I'm going to actually teleport myself to this foundation here. And I'm going to go to the options of the map and I'm going to go to the map options as well. And I'm going to call this blueprint paste test and all you need to do is just close that because it's it saves it at that point if you click options again it's already done there so i'm going to download that here we are Now you can see I'm in a different save file and the colors are different because there's no colors that have been applied. There is my 2.7 gigawatts of power. This was a save file where I had literally started a new playthrough. I had, as soon as I were in, was in the game, I created a container I just put all my stuff in the container I didn't even put a hub down yet I saved the game and then I was able to use this blueprint to paste into the game 
So right off the bat, at the beginning of the game, I've got 2.7 gigawatts of power. I haven't even unlocked tier 3, 4, where coal power is and all that sort of stuff. I mean, obviously, what I can't do here is I can't build coal generators. All that stuff can't be done. But if it's put in the game, it will work because it's, an, it's part of the game mechanics, the way the game works. But obviously, what I'm really showing you here is this is how you can paste a blueprint that you download off the calculator website into your save file and not have to put a foundation first. You can paste it to the original location of where it was created. And it's obviously really nice and a really cheaty way to do it. And this is a good way of transferring something that you built from one save to another.